Good morning. So today for our weekly message, I'm going to be looking at the Tarot because um, I've done a lot of sessions um, and videos about the, the end of year predictions and things of that nature. And I just thought it would be more helpful to uh, do just a, a, a real time look at what picks up in the collective when you throw the, t the cards out. So let's start with what's actually going on. And this is good. This is really good for, let me move them over just a bit. Uh, this is really good for what's going on this week. Uh, I, I think it does describe the energy. Now let's remember that we're in a Merc retrograde. And what happens when we're in a, a retrograde period is, um, communications more than anything else, computer issues, but everything just seems to get confused. It seems it's it's hard for people to make their point. It's hard for things to make sense. And it just seems it takes a lot of extra effort uh, to make things work out, especially communication. So I think the, the karmic card, the tower right here, I think this does talk a lot about the cycle we're in right now is there's a lot of getting rid of the old stuff and what doesn't serve you and i think that was the eclipse energy of the end of may and then we had the solar eclipse um recently which is new beginnings so we're all in this sort of tower energy of getting rid of what doesn't serve us and, and there, that can be bumpy it's bump 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 but you know it's it's actually a good thing it's at the end of the day it's clearing out to make room for the new stuff and then it is interesting you see the ace of swords right next to that because new beginnings and there's always a double edge so yeah, it's a new beginning, great, 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 but yeah, it wasn't so fun to get here. So that is kind of the energy we're all kind of getting scraped as we move our lives forward. So, you know, be kind to yourself, be good to yourself uh, as you navigate these, these difficult transitions. Okay, then we have over here the seven of wands and wands are always energy moving. And, you know, I always like that card because it shows we're fighting the good fight and energy is really going our way, but it, it does show that it's taking a lot of energy to get through the days and to make things happen. So it really speaks again to this Merc, uh, Mercury retrograde energy, which again ends on the 22nd. And it takes about a week or more for it to really get going direct. Uh, so just know it's, it's not immediate on the 22nd, but you kind of do feel an exhale on that date. Let me move it over a little bit. Then we have the page of pentacles. You know, whenever I see pages, I always think in terms of um, money coming in the mail. That's what I think it is. Um, but it could also be someone who gives you news of a job or, and then we have the six of pentacles next to it. I tend to feel that th th these are good money cards and career cards, or, you know, if you're trying to push something forward at work, um, it's not substantial but it's it's good it's better than where you are okay so this is like the immediate uh, energy of this this week for the collective so overall you know it's a little arduous but we're getting through it look for your support systems take good care of yourself but, and know that as you get to the end of the week you know it's going to you're going to be on the plus side you'll be in the plus column um, yeah, so it's not a, a super exciting emotional week, but that's okay. I think sometimes we need a little break from intense emotionality. So I'm going to move these out of the way and go to some of the other cards that are. So let's look what's up for our immediate future and, um, and then some. So let's see. Again, it's kind of interesting getting a lot of pinnacle cards. So but we do have the wands. So again, in the immediate future, we're making progress. So I would say as we head toward the weekend and move into, uh, you know, as we get later in the week and get into the next week, we're looking at more progress. And as opposed to the seven of wands, we see the six of wands. The six, I mean, the guy's on a horse. I mean, that kind of shows you that things are easier. I like this card for good communication. I like this card for opportunities. So um, take that for what it's worth, whether you're working on career or working on love or looking for places to live, whatever that is. I think as you get near the weekend and head into next week, it should get quite a bit better. 
And so again, we have more wands. And this really talks about the energies that we're all feeling in terms of, you know, this guy's got a bandage on his head, but you know, look what he's accumulated. I, I think that's the message of the Nine of Wands is look at the accumulation, all the staffs in the background, got a bandage on his head, all that. So, but, but it does speak to strength. It really speaks to the inner strength that we've gained and we're wise and we're looking out to next steps and we're in a good position. We, we've accumulated a lot. So, you know, don't underestimate yourself. I know sometimes when we have tower moments or moments that are challenging, it's very easy for us to go to the dark side and say, oh, it's just like it's always been. Oh my gosh, nothing's ever going to work out for me. It's never, never, never going to happen. You know, we'll, we'll go to that really self-defeating dialogue. But this should give you indication that you really are much further along than you probably give your cre yourself credit for. So in these moments, I like to take your inventory in a positive way and really start writing down your accomplishments, what you've done, who you've helped, what you've accomplished, you know, all the good traits that you have as a person. It's really good to do that when we're having these moments. Okay, then in love life specifically, a lot, a lot of karmic information, a lot of karmic situations going on out there as people transition into next steps. I mean, remember July is gonna be a potent, intense vital month. It's one of the most active, energy months of the entire year. And so I think we're finalizing things and getting ready to open up to the world essentially. So it kind of goes hand in hand with that tower but card, but this is so much more positive. And it really reflects that in the next cycle, you know, you will be able to bring in most anything that you want if you've been doing your work, being conscious, paying attention, that is a really good cycle coming up. Uh, to bring in everything that you would want to bring in. And so that's the collective we. And, you know, I think we'll see that in the economy. The, the economy is going to do a lot of things in the next year, it's good, bad, and ugly. But for right now, I think it's reflective that there's a lot of uh, financial expansion happening, job opportunities happening. Everything's opening back up. So, uh, yes. And people are going to feel much more comfortable to get out and about and make connections personally as well. Okay, and then as we get back into the career space, the chariot, I mean, again, a lot of karma cards going on here. I think people have felt like they're in a waiting pattern. And it has felt like that because the things we've traditionally done to move our lives forward or to make progress have not worked because we've been in a different cycle than most any of us have experienced in our lifetime. Uh, but this is the balancing of energies and that you are a master of doing that. And, you know, the chariot shows the the competing energies, but you're able to master that. So, you know, step into those job opportunities, know that it's not business as usual, even though it may feel like it is keep on keeping on. And, you know, forces are with us to realize those uh, potential um, good outcomes, good meaning what we want. And finally, uh, as we end the week and we end uh, this cycle, you know, the page of swords is tricky because again, this is to me as messages, information coming and whenever it's a sword, it, it stings <laughs> a little bit. So, you know, look out for friends, family, business associates, associates to perhaps be a little less tactful and diplomatic than you may like, or you might get some news that you're not uh, pleased to have, um, but it's, we need the information. I mean, this is how we move along to next steps in our lives. So look out for a little bit of a zing somewhere, you know, just stay in right relationship to yourself. And if some news comes in that, you know, it's not your favorite news, just accept it as if you chose it and try not to shoot the messenger um, if you can and use the information you receive uh, to move you along your path. But I would look for that, you know, towards the end of the week, Thursday or Friday. Okay. All right, my friends, I hope you find this helpful. Um, by the way, I have another interview coming out this week with Naya Swami Asha. I'm editing it um, today. So I hope you'll enjoy that as that posts. Okay. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.